Indie horror games are a mixed bag, ranging from inventive and unique to cookie cutter and downright broken. But I can honestly say that I love them all equally. Sure, some may be subjectively better than others, but both started with an idea, from a desire to create. They don't start from a big studio or hopping on a bandwagon, they start with an idea. And horror is a niche, indie horror even more so, and I believe they often get overlooked as a whole. Gaming has always been a passion of mine, whether AAA, indie, or somewhere in between, but lately I've gravitated my channel towards indie horror games, and I want to interrogate why this has become really special to me. When I load up an indie horror game, I go in with zero expectations, because they tend to always subvert them anyways, for better or for worse. Anyone who's played this style of game might know what I'm getting at. Some are broken, buggy, barely playable, and others are fully fleshed out ideas exploring unique experiences. Regardless of where they fall on the spectrum of quality, uh, every game is just that. An idea. And it's in these ideas that I so often find their real beauty. Most of the time, these games are single developer or small teams. They're often just passion projects that they took the leap and started the journey not knowing where it would lead or how it would be received. Some of them are even the first game they've ever made, which often bleeds into the emotion of their work. It's a small window into the creation process of bringing something to life. Trying something new is a daunting task. It can be terrifying, and intimidating, and difficult. The existence of every single one of these games means that the, that the developer powered through the anxiety, the self-doubt, the expectations, and they arrived on the other side. They did it. They started with a passion to create, a yearning to tell a story, or even just an idea to build a game around a single scene or a jump scare. That may sound cheap on the surface, but isn't that what we all try to do as creators? As artists, as people, we want to bring our ideas to life in a way that others can enjoy, regardless of how small or large the spark is that started it. It's easy to be judgmental on the quality of some of them, but I like to put myself into the developer's shoes, to envision what they envisioned, to see what they saw, to feel what they felt. From the title screen to the climax, I, I love to see the passion and the experience that they have laid out for me to traverse. Horror has always been one of my favorite genres, to simulate feeling vulnerable or scared. That emotion is one of the most real feelings we can feel, and to do so in a safe environment provides a taste of an experience we often overlook or avoid entirely. I love to be scared in a game, to have your body tell you to not go through that door or go in the basement, only to go against your feelings and trek forward into the unknown, knowing that what lies ahead will only be worse than what has already come before. It's these moments that I cherish. It's a taste of a feeling that we as humans typically avoid. These games can be equated to taking a risk, throwing an idea into the void and hoping for the best. Just as any content we throw into the void, we try our best to make something unique. My focus has been on indie horror for a while now, so these games will always hold a special place for me. There's something raw and real about them. To see someone's project, regardless of the medium, brought to life? For them to have taken the leap to create, and for me as the player to live inside that creation, however briefly? To look past the flaws and see the art for what it is. An idea. I know horror isn't for everybody, and it doesn't get the attention that I believe it deserves. For those who do enjoy them, they feel very real. I believe indie games in general are the best gaming medium today, and much of what I've said applies to the genre as a whole. This has been shown by its ever-increasing popularity in the gaming communities, and I believe this is due to the raw passion and ideas that come from it, the experiences that come from it, knowing that it came from love, knowing it came from inspiration, knowing it came from someone just like you or me, knowing that it's real. I just wanted to express why I love these games. Every single one of them I've played. These games have allowed me many things. Games for me to enjoy, feelings to feel, and content to share with others. It's allowed me to create videos. And hopefully many more. You know why I love indie horror games so much? It's seeing an idea of love and creativity manifest in a unique way that 
may not be the most popular, but it's done regardless. I love seeing the idea and living it for brief moments. Thanks for watching. And for those of you that made it to the end, I just do want to say thank you for checking out my previous Getting Over It video. It's actually what inspired me to change up my entire style and try this new video. I really hope you enjoyed both of them. And if not, well, thanks for watching anyway. <laughs>